I'm Kitty Cat, Clean Lily. <laughs> Happy Halloween. This is Banks. Let's put him over here. This lovely lady here doesn't actually have a name yet because I just bought her like two days ago. With every penny. I don't know where I'm going with this. Mm. Today, I am going to count down for you 13 things you can do alone on Halloween because not everyone's friends are close enough that they can hang out with them. Especially if you're in the college range of ages and your friends are off at school and you're home or you're off at school and they're home. So you can't always be with the ones you love. Also, you might not have anybody who loves you either. I'm debating on which category I'm actually in at the moment. I feel like I'm a little bit of both. Anyway, so here is 13 things you can do by yourself on Halloween. Number one, getting gussied up. The nose is the beta of my existence. The touch of the nose like six times today. And what? Number two, today happens to be a Friday. So you're either going to be at school if you're younger, or you're going to be at work if you're older. And if you're like me, you're going to be at work. You can see it. It's electric. You got to feel it. It's electric. Ooh, it's shocking. It's electric. candy from work that you're supposed to be giving out to small children who come to your job place. Four. Watch all of your horror movies. Where are you going? Music is super intense. Are you barefoot walking in glass right now? Um, I feel like you should take the stairs and not wait for the elevator. He's gonna get ya. He is going to stab you in your little white nighty. Oh, that is bullshit. Elevators would, would, that elevator would not have closed on his hand. It would have opened back up. Yellow car, nice shirt. You don't hide in the front. You really gonna hide in the car. You not even gonna bother looking for keys, looking to see if there's a key in the car, maybe even hot wire that bitch. I think I'm safe. <laughs> Number five, dance party. Twerk it out. Twerk it out. In the lab late one night, to my surprise. He did the match. He did the monster match. The monster match. The monster match. It was a graveyard smash. They did the match. It got on in a flash. They did the match. They did the monster match. The zombies were having fun. The party had just begun. Six. Put all of your horror movies back on the shelf when you're done. Why did I think this was a good idea? Number seven. Wall in self-pity for being alone on a holiday and having no friends. That's why I'm lonely. I'm Mr. Lonely. Hey buddy. 
I love that. Yeah. I have no friends. <laughs> Loves me. Number eight. Watch the second episode of Constantine that's airing at 10 o'clock tonight. Just saying. Yay, Constantine! Number nine. Do laundry because one, um, because you need to do it because you put it off to the last minute until you actually practically have nothing to wear to work or out or you're basically sitting around your house naked. Laundry. <laughs> Ten. Scroll down Facebook to see all the great Halloween things and your other friends' costumes and the fact that everyone's having a better night than you are. Eleven! I do not have enough fingers for that. Paint a pumpkin! Or carve a pumpkin! I have slip tiny pumpkin. I plan on painting him. I'm just not in the mood to do it right now. And I don't want to rush my art. So... I'm gonna paint him later. Maybe I'll do a separate little clip of the painting. I don't know. But it won't be in this video. Deal with it. Twelve! Stuff your face with all the junk food you can get your hands on because your life is sad and pathetic. I'm going to do this not filming it because that's just a whole new level. And finally, number 13 on my list, film and edit a YouTube video about being alone. That way you can delude yourself into thinking there is actually a point to not doing anything on Halloween. There was some sort of purpose involved. Keep yourself entertained so you don't realize that you're home alone on the best night of the year. Happy Halloween! I hope you're having fun. You're probably not going to be watching this on Halloween because you have a life. So, I hope you enjoy watching this post-Halloween and just can feel so much better about yourself and maybe have a backup plan for next year. Bye! I'll see you when the sun sets and the stars come out. I haven't done that in a while, but I missed it. Peace! Bye, babes! They played the monster man. The monster man. It was a graveyard smash.